Hello, and welcome to the sixth and final video in our Unreal 5 series. In this video, we'll be going over meta sounds. With this approach, we're now able to make adjustments to audio and even make procedural audio effects. While this has a minor feature when compared to Lumen or Nanite, it's still exciting nonetheless. So, why is meta sounds so intriguing? Well, while most game engines have a built in audio engine, they're generally very limited in their capabilities. This leads developers to use third-party systems such as WISE or FMOD that have a wider range of capabilities. Metasounds work very closely to how the shader nodes work for materials, essentially nodes for sounds. Furthermore, triggers can be implemented and created from gameplay events to drive certain audio effects. To illustrate the capabilities, let's take a look at this quick demo scene. We've placed this drone inside this environment made up of assets from the Unreal Marketplace. If you look at the animation of the drone taking off, you can see it starts off slow but then accelerates and lifts off. Well, with meta sounds, we can add subtle variations to the sound clips, such as increasing the pitch as it continues to rotate and lift, simulating a higher RPM as it flies higher. Let's take a listen. This is a simple example, but it shows off the potential power of this audio engine. There are also possibilities for creating procedural audio that could be used for background music. Here, let's take a listen. Like before, a combination of different nodes are used without the use of any external audio clips. This is a neat little feature to have to create some truly unique audio for the experience that you're crafting. Thank you for taking the time to watch all the different spaces we created with Unreal 5. If you missed our videos about Lumen, Nanite, Megascans, and MetaHumans, check out our channel. If you want to learn more about emerging 3D technology, make sure to subscribe to our channel as well.